Sledhead 24-7 leads off with the latest news from Skidoo. And the state of sleds is great. Insiders call it Club Skidoo. And Sledhead 24-7 soaks in the snow and shares an all-access pass. Meet a sled designer who's tested them the old-fashioned way by racing hard. Go beyond the blueprint with a Polaris cross-country team, testing their technology at the cross-country course. What to wear is easy. World champ Jeff Fisher reports from the runway at the FXR Fashion Show and shares a sneak peek at what's next. And Big Air will get you there. Highlights from Amsoil Championship Snowcross powered by Ram in the big snow country of Michigan. Sledhead 24-7 starts right here, right now. Holy smoly, man. doesn't get much better than that, does it? Welcome to another great episode of Sledhead 24-7, your show for everything snowmobile. We're here this week at Nice Outland in St. Cloud, Minnesota. I'm your host, Chelsea Scorch, and joining me is my co-host, Jeff Fisher. Now, Jeff, I saw that you traded in your snow boots for some cowboy boots and headed south. Yeah, we got a chance. We got a call from Skidoo to come down and touch and feel all the new 2020s. It was quite a show. It was a lot of fun. Let's see what's new from Skidoo. It's Shane Atterbury. He's right here. We're at Club Skidoo 2020. About to walk in there, see what's new. We're in Texas, and it's snowing. Only Skidoo could pull this off. We're here at the 2020 Skidoo Sled Reveal. Now, this is better known as Club Skidoo, Club BRP, but it's club fun here at Skidoo. I'll tell you right now, this is not dandruff right here. This is a skidoo feeling. It is real snow that we had tonight, and I'll tell you, people are gonna be so excited about the all new Summit X with expert package. 14 different changes. Mind blowing. You heard it from Dave Narona, so it must be correct. Right from the horse's mouth. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't gonna say horse. <laughs> The, one of the really key components to the new expert sled is the ski spindle geometry and how it works. The spindle's not only a weight reduction item, but it improves the ability for the rider to balance the sled when he's cutting a line across a slope. Um, until this year, there was always a resistance for that and the, the tail of the ski would push pressure into the snow uh, creating a situation where it wanted to push the sled back down on two skis. This makes it so much easier to balance uh, and you can you can kind of see how that works as I rotate the skis through the counter steer. Uh, it's going to make life so much easier, easier when you're out on the slope. Really excited to ride this thing. Uh, I want to put the old sled away and hop on this thing and go shred some pow. It's like Kind of my dream sled. It's like makes you a better rider. This adjustable lim limiter strap is pretty awesome too. Like if you're going to do an aggressive climb, you put it on the short, the short setting, and then holds the front skis down, and you can climb some really steep stuff easier. It's got the KYB 36 rear aggressive shock for taking some bigger hits climbing. And the other big feature is the shorter tunnel, which evacuates snow way better. So what that does is um, normally when you have a longer tunnel and a snow flap sticking down. The snow comes out, hits that snow flap, and then it gets pushed back onto the track and it gets brought back around. So what that does is it binds up in the tunnel and robs horsepower. So this actually frees up a lot of horsepower and makes the sled more maneuverable. So it's a really, it's actually really cool how big of an improvement it does. It just makes the sled go faster, get on top of the snow better. It'll chew down and dig a deeper hole and won't get stuck as easy. And then for maneuvering, the sled just turns on a dime now. It's just like rides like a shorter track sled. You can go across 
and do a side hill and then pin it and boom, you're going back the other direction. It's really maneuverable. This thing's just like the ultimate mountain sled. It's awesome. Love it. <laughs> I'm running through Club Skidoo back and forth, jumping from machine to machine. It's kind of like a, a, a kid in a candy store, or a toy store, but at that fact. They won up the XRS backcountry here with the 154. Now this is gonna still ride nice on the trails, lay flat in the corners, but tackle the deepest snow you wanna throw at it. So any of you guys think you need a summit to go backcountry riding in the Midwest or up in Quebec? You might wanna take a look at this. This is gonna do everything and then some. What's up guys, Ashley Chaffin, and I'm here at Club 2020, and I wanted you guys to check out this awesome new free ride. This color is amazing, guys. On the snow, it's even better. This sled is gonna come with the lightweight spindles and the revised ski stopper that is actually on the Summit X uh, Expert. It also is gonna come with the same running boards as the Expert. So, um, you know, these are a couple updates. It's gonna make the sled handle so much better. Uh, you're gonna be able to hold those lines and can't wait to get on the snow. Here is the new Expedition Extreme 850 E-Tech. This thing is a rocket, you know? If you wanna use this for a utility sled or playing around on and off trail, this is what you want right here. So it's got the new Easy Shift transmission, the high load neutral and reverse button on the handlebars there. So you can push that button all day long to go in and out of reverse super easy. 20 inch track, 1.8 inch pedal, and the new multi-link plate on the back there as well for all your accessories. So this thing is, uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's a rocket. I've had a chance to test drive the thing and it's, it's quite fun on and off trail. So you want to use it as a utility sled for your family. You can load up all your cargo and accessories. You want to go play with the guys, go off trail, just cut everything off of that and you're good to go. You know, it's been a fun couple days here at Club Skidoo. We had a chance to touch and feel all the new products, all the new clothing, accessories, everything there is to offer from BRP. Next week, stay tuned. We're gonna take all these out in the snow. Well, there's one thing for sure, Skidoo always sets the bar high. That's right, and I can hardly wait to get them snowmobiles out of Texas into the snow where they belong. But make sure you don't go anywhere. There's more Sledhead 24-7 to come right after this. When Sledhead 24-7 returns, meet a husband and wife who design sleds during the week and race cross-country on weekends. From the tabletop to the showroom and the latest FXR fashions at the unveiling of the next chapter in what to wear, Jeff Fisher is taking notes for his report on how to look cool while you stay warm on the trail. Fish is standing by backstage at the FXR fashion show. Round 9 and 10 of Amsoil Championship Snowcross soars at a massive track in mid-Michigan. Big air leads to big air and fantastic finishes. And later, a trip to the video vault for some buried treasures from Polaris. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil. Runs on freedom. By Polaris. By Arcticat. Skidoo. That skidoo feeling by FXR, extreme adaptability for all conditions, and powered by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7. Where we ride, rate, and review, because that's what we do. Let's go hit the trails. Hey guys, Jeff Fisher with Sledhead 24-7. We're here at the 2020 FXR Dealers Show. FXR has some of the greatest uh, no. clothing in the world and some of the greatest riders representing them. Let's go check everything out. Matt Ham here from FXR, uh, part of the design team here. Uh, we're down here in Elk River, Minnesota, here at ERX Park for, uh, for our 2020 dealer release. One of the big things that we've done this year is taken our dry link technology has been very well received and we're taking this dry link and we're going to offer it as an accessory so what this dry link does is you can pick out a piece something like this brand new ranger jacket if it's a new 2020 you pull it open you'll see the powder skirt on this jacket zips off so you get rid of that powder skirt you take this dry link you know it's zipped into your jacket you're going to see this zipper rail on our renegade series pants we have a renegade sx pro for snow bike and an X and a light one, so for all sorts of riders. So you zip that together. Now you're, you've got 
yourself hooked up you're like you got protection like a mono suit so so you can go out there and just rip it and the cool thing about this is you're not just stuck with one color or one piece you know you can dry link a ranger jacket you can dry link a renegade jacket you can dry link a helium jacket so you've got all sorts of options now so your dry link you know you can open up that dry link technology with just about anything that you want to piece together fxr has teamed up with 60 for 2020 to offer you their 60 ATR2, their 60 ATR1, as well as the all new ATR2 youth helmet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to give you guys the number one helmet safety technology in the world, which is what 60 has done with their ODS system. Um, we can't wait to show you guys all the different graphics and color combos that we have. Kind of goes with the collection, whether it's moto or snow, there's no better crash protection in the world right now than what 60 is doing, and we're so proud to partner with these guys and be able to bring this to our FXR customers. So you're gonna to wanna to check this out. So what you guys are looking at here is our brand new women's Ranger jacket. This is a full four-way stretch, full omni-stretch removable liner jacket with our premium Ace and T technology. So it's a really, really great piece. It's lightweight, it's more than warm enough, more than comfortable enough, and we've got some great colors. So that Ranger, something you definitely want to see. The other piece we really want to highlight for women's in 2020 is our brand new women's Evo jacket. So this Evo jacket, similar to the Ranger, is full Omni stretch, so it's full four-way stretch. It's going to be comfortable. You know, it's a fixed liner jacket, so it's going to be a little bit lighter weight, but that doesn't mean it's going to be any cooler or any colder for you when you're out there in the snow. And it's got fast. So super important feature here, it's a fixed liner fast jacket full four-way stretch and again with FXR you know it's all about colors it's all about giving the ladies you know not just the men but the ladies you know the colors to choose from and the different technology and the fit and the function uh, and the performance of FXR whether it's ACMT or fast or omni stretch we make sure that we got the ladies covered <laughs> You guys have probably seen a lot of this out there on the track and ISOC already this year with colorways like we did for our Canterbury release. So you're going to have a chance to pick up the same gear that all the pros have been wearing this year. And we're going to go out and watch them uh, go head to head in some Dominator racing a little bit later on. So yeah, excited to go check that out. Thanks for coming to see what's new for FXR in 2020. We're going to go watch some racing. Still ahead, the world's greatest snowcross racers are on the line as the points battle tightens up. Every race matters as Isoc prepares to crown a champion. To ensure his sled designs are top notch, he tests his Polaris in the extreme backlands of North Country. The story of Alex Hattin when Sledhead 24-7 returns. Championship Snowcross powered by Ram, the Soaring Eagle Snowcross National. Rounds 9 and 10 rode into the big snow country of Michigan and the Soaring Eagle Casino and Water Park. The world's greatest snowcross racers faced one of the largest tracks on the planet with tricky step ups and deep descents resulting in awesome big air. In the pro class, Warner Racing's Adam Renheim and his Skidoo were dialed in. The Swedish racer's run has been impressive, and the number 311 earned his second win of the season Friday night in Mount Pleasant. And the checkers will fly! Adam Rinheim has won in Michigan! Second year pro light racer Hunter Patinode picked up his second straight win on Friday night. Patinode came into the final as the top qualifier, winning both heat races. The shearing speed sports racer grabbed a handful of throttle for the early lead and held off the thundering herd for the win. And Hunter Patinode has been hooked up all afternoon here in Michigan. Here's in Pro-Am Women, Malene Anderson continued to make it happen. The Norwegian racer kept the heat on and picked up her second win of the season. Malene Anderson has won in Michigan.
In Snowbike, X Games gold medalist Cody Matichuk made his debut on the National Snowcross Circuit. The Canadian biker diced with points leader Harris Heisinga, but took control on lap five, winning by nearly 15 look seconds. Look at the air and right here. Wow, making it look like a super cross track out there. Cody followed up with a back-to-back -back win in Michigan as the X Games gold medalist once again dominated the race on Saturday night. A big crowd packed the massive Michigan hillside that overlooks the track. and more big news in the pits as the Motor Trend Truck of the Year was on display for race fans to check out. And we're racing in Ram Country! In ProLite, six different riders representing all three brands have won in the first eight rounds of racing. On this day, the trend continued with Swedish Skidoo racer Marcus Ogmar. And smooth as silk! Megan Brodeur got back in the winner's circle as the Pro-Am women's points leader picked up her sixth win of the season. Malene Anderson continued her mid-season surge, finishing second just ahead of Taven Woody. They're now tied for second place as the championship chase kicks in. My name is Chris Hockey. The Snowcross professor Mike Schroeder and I are going to be heading to New York for rounds 11 and 12 at the Seneca Allegheny Snowcross National, February 22nd and 23rd in Salamanca, New York. Please log on to snowcross.com for the latest news and info. Stay tuned. We're hanging out with Polaris racer and designer Alex Hattin. Alex shares both sides of his world, from big idea to hard riding on the cross-country circuit. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil. Runs on freedom. Rocks, your rider position specialists. Traxxas, the fastest name in radio control. By Stud Boy, traction with an attitude. Ziegler Cat, exceptional service backing the best equipment. And by U.S. Air Force, aim high. We had a chance to follow the cross-country circuit. There's some guys that are very fast. There's one standout rider, though, on Polaris, Alex Hattin. We had a chance to check in with him and see how his season's going. Hi, I'm Alex Hattin. I'm number 154, and I race for Polaris Industries. I work for Polaris Industries in Rosa, Minnesota, as a senior powertrain development engineer. I work with four-stroke engines on uh, development dynos mostly and uh, some stuff in the field. I've been there for about seven years now. So I also work at Polaris in Roseau. I'm a project lead in the snow group, so I lead some of the programs, um, including the sled that we're racing this year and some other trail type of sleds and also the race sled. Uh, so Alex and I met six years ago at a race. It was actually the first race of the season in Pine Lake. Ended up getting engaged at the end of the I-500. Um, he proposed at the finish line, that was pretty neat. And then we got married um, and we found out we were pregnant. Also at a race, we <laughs> went out to the Sioux and that's when we found out that we were. So got to break the news to our families at a race. Cross country racing is a, is a great variety uh, racing. We, we race on the ice. Uh, Ice Le Mans, we race cross country through the ditches and, and the woods and trails. Um, it's very technical at times. Some courses require really good snowmobile setup and uh, mechanic ability. Other courses are more rider ability. Uh, so it's a great mixture of everything and uh, it's very challenging. Um, racing together as a married couple is pretty interesting. It's fun. Um, I think we are lucky because we both have the same passion and we spend our entire winter around racing snowmobiles so during the week it's wrenching together being in the shop um, and then getting ready for the weekend you know making sure house is in order before we leave and um, it's a lot of fun getting to support each other and cheer each other on too. What drives me to race cross country is the, the competitiveness of it um, just getting better and better and trying to compete with the guys at the top and pushing myself and uh, learning about the sled and learning about setup and um, just kind of nerding out with all the details that go along with it and trying to make it all 
the best that it can be. The season's going pretty good so far. I managed to win the first race of the year, the, the Gerald Deardall Memorial Pine Lake 200 um, back in December. That was really cool. It's always been a bucket list race of mine. There's a lot of people that show up for that one and it's very prestigious to win. So I was uh, beyond excited to, to bring that home. Um, so kind of everything involving our relationship and getting to know each other has been around snowmobile racing. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this week's episode of Sledhead 24-7. We want to give a big thank you to Mies Outland in St. Cloud, Minnesota for having us out this week. I'm your host, Chelsea Scorich. I'm Jeff Fisher, where we ride, rate, and review, because that's what we do. And we will see you out on the trail. If you have a great story idea, or know a wonderful place to ride, or a favorite lodge, please let us know. For Chelsea, Big Fish, Cub, and the Old Buzzard, this is the Big Canadian saying we'll see you all out on the trail. So Living. Shout the way, you're on your way. You're heading for a white world of fun, beautiful airing.